So here we are again. Uh, today we're going to do a different type of video. Today, uh, you know, I do a lot of magnet fishing, and I do it in wells. But you can, you know, you can magnet fish in a bunch of places. You can magnet fish, you know, where people actually fish and stuff. And the beautiful thing about magnet fishing is you can find some awesome old relics in the water. Uh, you can actually find current Canadian coinage in the water because it's actually magnetic. Um, so sometimes I'll use this big magnet I have over here. Right, right, over in here. Oh, there we go. I had to disappear to get that. I forgot to get it before I started shooting. But, so this is a, this is a powerful magnet. <laughs> Whew. But, what's the cheapest magnet you can use? And I'm going to show you something that has some pretty incredible magnets. It actually has two magnets in it. And it's something that if you want to try magnet fishing, it's a high enough powered magnet that you can get some relics and stuff with it. And it's really cheap because you can often find it at a curb. What do you think it is? Ready? Ta-da! You're right. That there is a bona fide microwave. This is an RCA. I found it at a curb. And like I said, this is the cheapest type of magnet you can get, basically. It's a freebie. <laughs> so it'll do the trick, actually. I'm going to show you how to disassemble this safely. Um, I should probably say don't do this at home, but the whole point you're watching this is you'll want a cheap magnet. So I'm going to show you how to do it safely and uh, then you'll have a free magnet. So at this point you're probably saying, Beardo, what exactly do I need to do this? Simple. Some easy tools. You need some sort of snips. Uh, that's just going to be for some cords and such. You'll need two different types of bits. A Phillips number two and you will need this. That's a special type of bit. Uh, you can find that at any hardware store. Um, and then a drill or a hand screwdriver. I use a drill because I like the power. <laughs> As Tim the tool man would say, need more power. <laughs> so let's get to taking this sucker apart. I'm gonna show you how to do it safely. Get you some free mags. First things first, I am going to cut this power cord off. Uh, you know, you don't want anyone plugging this in, obviously, when you're working on it. Power cord is cut. Safety first. Okay. You want to be careful with the capacitor because you don't want any issues with that. So let's go and unplug this stuff. Well, it's off now. Anyway, we're going to snip the capacitor cords. I will check back in a second. So I've disconnected all the capacitor cords. The capacitor is basically the really thing you have to worry about on this. but see right here that's a danger high voltage right in there so where the magnets are is they should be right in this bad boy here so we're gonna take that out carefully and we're gonna get those magnets ready
over in here, you see you can either get that with a Phillips or you can get that with a. I don't know if my Phillips will fit in there. Nope, I will have to take out the fan system, which will take me a second. Fan's pretty cool to actually use for other stuff as well. If you're ever farting around and you like to tinker, like me. This one's gonna be tough for this to get out of the how I want to. Now it's gonna to be tough for this to get down in there with this, so I'm gonna see if I have a handheld flathead for this. I actually said flathead, I meant Phillips. And, uh, I don't have a handheld one right here because I got all my tools in the basement because I'm working on the basement, so just a longer bit. And anything else holding? Just that one screw in there that we have to pop out. If you can't, if uh, you might not, there's a screw in the back here that isn't on all the type of uh, microwaves. I don't have it on the last two I took apart, but it's on this one, of course, because of course the one I'm gonna film, it's gotta make it harder on me, right? But I like a challenge, don't I? <laughs> Anyone who knows me knows I like a challenge. If I like anything, it's a challenge. So there we go. And then once you get this section out, you can go ahead and unscrew this. Here we go. Now, if you look in here, look, the screw's already stuck to it. We got a couple of magnets, see? So now we'll take this all apart and we'll have two different magnets there. Some microwaves will have higher powered magnets, but some will, you know, some aren't crazy, crazy powerful, but you can see it's already flipping, flipping. <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned it previously on the other part, but you'll need a chisel as well. And I don't think I mentioned that. So what you want to do is you'll want to disconnect over in here. And be very careful when you're doing this, obviously, because otherwise you might nick your hands. So I'm actually going to turn the camera off while I do this, just so I can focus on doing this properly and sit at my bench, which is a little more comfortable. That's the magnet. There you go. That's one of the two magnets right there. And let's just see. Ta-da. Ta-da. Now we're gonna pop this up like so. We're gonna stretch this out a little bit for our new friends like this. Okay, now we're gonna snip these two wires and we're gonna have access to this. There we go. Now you'll see we have access to this secondary magnet. We have to pop this up and off and it's sometimes awkward to do this just because of the magnet interference. Now we go under the magnet like this. Make sure it's nice and loose and there you go. Now 
you have two magnets for magnet fishing. And to show you how strong these magnets are, there you go. Watch, I'm gonna do a little demonstration, okay? Let's put some tools here. There you go. So is it as powerful as my big magnet? No, but is it powerful enough for a freebie to find you some cool stuff? Absolutely. Now, when you get these magnets out, you wanna be careful that you don't smash them together because what that'll do is that'll actually cause them to break. Um, but you know, is it gonna pick up stuff like this? No. Um, I don't know if my regular magnet will do that either. Well, it will. <laughs> but that magnet's a lot more expensive. This, as I said, is your free way to have, look, I got all the garbage off it. This is a free magnet that, you know, it's not gonna be the most powerful magnet in the world, but, uh, you know, these, mag these other magnets that you're getting online are super expensive. So this is a free way that if you don't have the extra money, you can still enjoy magnet fishing. Until next time, woo!